refugees are making their way to Wisconsin. What you can do to help them as they escape the violence in their country. Also, not only will masks be required for those who enter most music venues in Madison, they will be required for the musicians. How the show will go on. Also, how a simple idea by a Wanakee woman is bringing smiles to the faces of people in her community. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Well, let me be clear. Any American who wants to come home, we will get you home. The Taliban have taken control of the Afghan capital as people are continuing to evacuate the country at Kabul's airport. U.S. military forces are now scrambling to remove Americans and vulnerable Afghans from that country. The president originally said the U.S. will be out of Afghanistan by August 31st, but today he suggested the withdrawal deadline could be adjusted. Critics say the Biden administration should have been better prepared to evacuate Americans and Afghan allies when it announced the withdrawal of U.S. forces. If we leave any Americans behind, if we leave thousands of those Afghans who fought along our side behind bravely, Joe Biden deserves to be impeached. The Wall Street Journal published a State Department memo from July 13th where diplomats warned the Afghan government could collapse after the U.S. troop withdrawal. They urged the department to start pulling Americans out of the country before troops were gone. Members of Congress are getting an unclassified briefing on Afghanistan today. Lawmakers say they will hold hearings looking into what went wrong. New video has surfaced showing the Taliban deploying a riot control agent agent on hundreds of Afghans today. The crowd was waiting for evacuation outside of the closed gate at the U.S. military controlled camp at the, on the Sullivan side of the Kabul airport. American officials say yesterday the gates at Kabul airport were open for evacu evacuees. Many in the crowd had been waiting at the gate for more than a day and had to leave when the chemical agent was deployed. And the Taliban is proving weapons the U.S. gave Afghan forces are now in its hands. The group has published photos showing its fighters carrying M4 carbines. They marched in an Independence Day parade for the country carrying the U.S. supplied assault rifles. Taliban fighters have also been seen patrolling with M16 rifles, which also came from the United States. For the refugees who are able to get out, we know that some of them are coming to Wisconsin, where Fort McCoy will temporarily house them and prop process paperwork. And while we still don't know how many or when they'll arrive here, our Naomi Coles can show, show you how many have come before and how much they'll need in help from their neighbors when they arrive. Naomi? Take a look at this timeline. I used the state's data and tracked how many Afghan refugees came to Wisconsin from 2001 all the way through 2019. Now in total, this represents 313 refugees. Watch this number rise to its high points in 2016 and 2018, when between 60 and 70 refugees resettled here in each of those years. Now look at this. Out of the more than 300 refugees that came, a third have settled in Dane County. What's interesting is that the overall number of refugees coming to both the country and Wisconsin declined under the Trump administration. But that's, of course, why you just saw Afghan refugees increased. Now, as we prepare for another influx, I talked to one of Madison's key resettlement agencies about just how much they need in the coming days. Actually get approximately $1,000, maybe $1,100 per person when they arrive. The reason we do so much fundraising is we guarantee all the refugees we resettle security deposit and four months rent. Now that doesn't even begin to include the first few expensive nights in hotels or the basic food, belongings and apartment furnishings that the Jewish social services provide to refugees as well. You can join me on For the Record this Sunday for that entire conversation with Dawn Burney at the JSS as she describes what's been a hectic week, the refugees, at le uh, the refugees legal status as they come in and what a detailed timeline for resettling them looks like. Naomi, thank you. And as we continue to talk about these refugees heading to Wisconsin, 
Wisconsin. We continue to hear from viewers who want to help. Tiffany Schultz from the Better Business Bureau warns us of scammers posing as charities, making donation pages online and pocketing the money themselves. Some scams are highly sophisticated, but Schultz says there are ways to keep yourself safe. We have more on how you can stay safe while still helping the refugees. That's coming up tonight at 6. Another sunny and warm day, but we could see some showers and thunderstorms into the weekend. Let's get a look at your certified most accurate forecast. Meteorologist Dana Fulton is on the weather patio. Dana? It is warm outside right now and quite humid, but the storm still well off to the west. As we look at our Doppler track currently, we have watches for northern Iowa, Minnesota, and in parts of the Dakotas. That line of storms is going to continue to push east, of course, not impacting our area you know, for the next few hours. Really builds in for the start of Saturday once we get past midnight. I'm not expecting this to be a, a severe line for us, but we will see a, a few little lightning bolts or at least hear some rumbles of thunder for, for early Saturday. Right now, nice and sunny outside, temperature-wise in the upper 80s, dew points at the mid-60s, so it's still quite sticky. 88 for Janesville, 86 in Lone Rock this evening. Temperatures tonight won't drop much because we'll have that mostly cloudy sky overhead, only down to about 70 for overnight lows. Saturday, showers and thunderstorms early in the morning. And then in the afternoon, we'll get some clearing and be back to sunshine. Thankfully, not quite as hot and humid outside. Highs will be in the low 80s for Saturday. But we'll take a closer look at your full 10-day in this warm trend for next week, picking right back on up in just a few minutes. All right, Dana, thank you. Madison police have arrested a woman they say is responsible for a deadly stabbing last month. Crystal Hairston was booked into the Dane County Jail today on tentative charges of first-degree intentional homicide. Authorities say 60-year-old Mark Ryan was stabbed multiple times in the 700 block of Braxton Place on July 27th. Ryan was taken to a local hospital where he died from his injuries. Madison police are searching for a suspect after an attempted homicide happened on the city's east side overnight. Officers responded to a report of multiple gunshots near Darbo Drive around 8 last night. Soon after, a 40 a year old man arrived at the hospital with two gunshot wounds. Investigators say two homes were hit by gunfire. A woman and four small children were inside one of the homes during the gunfire. Anyone with information regarding this incident is asked to call the Madison Police Department. Across the country, the number of people checking into a hospital with COVID symptoms are skyrocketing, especially in people under the age of 50. But as that's happening, the number of people getting vaccinated is also increasing. Yesterday, more than 1 million people got a shot. That is the highest number we've seen in two months. Wisconsin is inching close to administering 6 million doses of a COVID vaccine. We're about 10,000 doses away. In all, a little more than 50% of the state's population has completed the COVID vaccine series. In Dane County, that number continues to be much higher. We're creeping closer to all most 70% of people who are fully vaccinated. Our latest mask mandate, now in effect until September, might mean muzzling the arts. Madison Dane County's public health order says performers in musicals and plays will have to mask up during their shows under the current mask order. Brad Hamilton spoke with people in the local arts community today about this decision. Brad? Well, Susan, some here at the Bartell Theater are just in a state of confusion right now. They're trying to figure out how to perform in the midst of a mask mandate. Mask or no mask? That was the question that many had in the local art community. Madison Dane County Health confirmed that under the current mandate, the show must go on with everyone, including performers, wearing a mask. A lot of people who have been responsible and and doing the right thing, who have been looking forward to at least some sense of normality, is now being punished. That decision has been met with confusion for folks such as Steve Knoll, who's a director for the Bartell Theater's upcoming production of Clue. Think about like a restaurant. You know, the mask mandate doesn't affect the restaurants. You can have people packed together, eating and drinking without masks, but yet 
having an actor that's 20 feet away from you without a mask is somehow not allowed. Noel says the program has gone above and beyond to make sure their environment indoors is a safe one. For example, every single member of the cast and crew has been fully vaccinated. Also, every single person who does attend must wear a mask and also show proof of vaccination. So we put in a lot of precautions to make sure that audiences can see the show in a safe way for both the actors and the audiences. But if the current mandate continues as currently constructed, Noel production would be canceled. Especially a comedy like Clue cannot be performed in masks. You know, we would have to cancel the, the production. Well, Noel just wants to emphasize again that he understands the mask mandate. He just doesn't understand why those protections that he's put into place aren't enough right now. Reporting live tonight in Madison, Brad Hamilton, News 3 Now. Brad, thank you. Some nursing homes want COVID-19 vaccines for residents and staff. The U.S. Centers for Medicaid and Medicare Services says there's been a recent uptick in requests for vaccine access. In the first week of August, about 150 nursing homes requested government assistance. Nationally, about 60% of nursing home staff and 83% of residents are fully vaccinated. Earlier this week, President Biden said nursing homes must have vaccine vaccination requirements in order to continue receiving Medicare and Medicaid funding. A federal appeals court says a pause on evictions designed to curb the spread of the coronavirus can remain in place for now. A three-judge panel of the U.S. Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia rejected a bid by Alabama and Georgia realtors to block the eviction moratorium reinstated earlier this month. A spokesman for the National Association of Realtors said the group will immediately file an emergency motion to the U.S. Supreme Court. Throughout the past year and a half, people have found creative ways to bring smiles and joy to others in a time where that can seem hard to come by. A woman in Wanakee took a simple concept and did just that. Deb Nice has lived in this home for 20 years on Main Street in Wanakee. All she did was take some chalk, a large chalkboard, and wrote a funny or positive message on it every day. She said it was something simple and low cost, but it has had a big positive impact. I want people to find the joy when it's so hard to find it in some times like we're going through right now. Uh, know that you can affect somebody's life in a way that you might not even have thought of. Thousands of people travel this road every day. She also has a Facebook page where she posts her message of the day. And if you'd like to keep up on that and enjoy her messages from afar, we have a link to her Facebook on our website, channel3000.com. Deb, way to go. A hurricane is currently hitting Mexico and another storm system is forecasted to hit the eastern part of the country. Why Tropical Storm Henri is very unique. Coming up ahead at five. In Rock County, a Janesville boy is doing something good for veterans in his community. How he's helping out, we'll have that story coming up tonight at 6. The Dow up almost 226 points. The Nasdaq up 173. The S&P 500 closed up 36 points on this Friday afternoon. We'll be right back. It's time for back to school, so get to Rogan's today for styles your kids will love. Plus, save the receipt and the next pair is half price. Family savings gets an A-plus at Rogan's. Selection, service, name brands, and the second pair is half price. Visit online at roganshoes.com. It's Slumberland's anniversary sale. Get a complimentary four-night hotel stay at over 400 great hotels. Plus an extra 20% off when you spend $3,000 or more. Buy more, save more, and get the trip. Now at Slumberland. You protected our rights, preserved our freedom. You may have even risked your life for us. Now, it's our turn to fight for you. Your local Wisconsin emergency, energy, and housing assistance providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund reward the service of our veterans with rental and energy support in their time of crisis. Apply today to get the fresh start you've earned. 
the right ingredients for a healthy lifestyle can be tricky. That's why SSM Health and News 3 Now are here to help. Our Time for Kids recipe for health experts use online conversations and on-air reports to answer your health questions. So tell us, what topics would your family like to hear about? What questions do you have? Use the handy feedback form on our Time for Kids page to share what matters most to your family's health. And together, let's take time for kids. Keep tools, lawn equipment, and more protected with storage solutions from Menards. The 10 by 12 foot Arlington metal storage shed from Aero Storage Products is perfect for all your storage needs. With its 81 inch high gable style roof and corrosion resistant galvanized steel. Get peace of mind with the security and protection of pad lockable sliding doors. The Arlington metal shed is just $489 after 11% rebate. Save 11% on everything now at Menards. Slumberland's anniversary sale. Spend $1,000 and get a complimentary two-night hotel stay, plus an extra 10% off. See our huge selection of top brands like Sealy and Tempur-Pedic. Buy more, save more, and get the trip. Now at Slumberland. I kept my receipt from the last time I was at Rogan's to save even more and back to school for my kids. The shoes I'm getting today are half price. I get the best savings for my family at Rogan's. Selection, service, name brands, and the second pair is half price. Visit online at roganshoes.com. Tonight at 6, how a chalkboard is helping bring joy to one Wanakee neighborhood. And as refugees prepare to arrive in Wisconsin, we look at how the state has helped refugees in the past and what you can do this time around. Back to school is not what it used to be. There are new safety concerns, new protocols, and lots of questions. We can help you navigate some of those hurdles with our Back to School series. Join us every morning starting at 6.30 a.m. Only on News 3 Now This Morning. Watching News 3 Now at 5. Welcome back, everyone. If you drive a Chevy Bolt, GM has issued a recall on all of those vehicles. It's to fix a battery problem that could cause fires. The recall raises questions about lithium-ion batteries, which are now used in nearly all electric vehicles. The recall announced today adds about 73,000 volts from the 2019 through 22 model years to a previous recall of 69,000 older bolts. GM GM says in rare cases, the batteries have two manufacturing defects that can cause fires. Grace has strengthened back into a hurricane with winds of 85 miles per hour. The storm is about 200 miles east of Mexico. The National Hurricane Center says Grace could continue to strengthen to a Category 2 storm before making landfall this evening. Storm surge along the coast could reach 6 feet. Some isolated areas could see up to 18 inches of rain through Sunday. Grace already came ashore early yesterday, yesterday near Tulum, Mexico, which is south of Cancun. And the National Hurricane Center says Tropical Storm Henri will make landfall in the Northeast this weekend. Hurricane watches have been issued for parts of Long Island, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and Massachusetts. Experts say communities face threats from strong winds, heavy rains, and storm surge. The National Weather Service in New York says it's the first time in 10 years this area has had hurricane watches. The, the last hurricane to make landfall in the region was Hurricane Bob in 1991. And meteorologist Dana Fulton is watching this closely. That's interesting. This is this could be the first time in a long time they've dealt. Will that be like Boston Cape Cod area too? Yes, right around that area. Exactly. And this is uh, certainly something that we've not never heard of before, but still quite rare and it's been a long time since we've had a uh, hurricane make landfall in that area. So Tropical Storm Henri right now, still a tropical storm, pretty parallel to the coast of Georgia and the southern edge of South Carolina. Its path has really pulled off to the west. This cone of uncertainty, we'll call it, starts to drift a little further over to the west early Sunday morning as Category 1 hurricane and then likely making landfall late Sunday. And this cone, again, just a day or two ago, was well further off to the east, has really pulled inland, swerving right into 
the Boston area, Connecticut, parts of New Jersey, all going to be impacted by high winds, heavy rain, and of course that storm surge as this hurricane makes landfall likely late Sunday. That'll still be a very strong system swinging through the New England area into early Monday morning, bringing even more rainfall. So hurricane watches in effect right now, stretching through parts of Massachusetts, also seeing some tropical storm watches in effect. So it's something we'll watch through the weekend. For us, our next line of storms still off to the west, where tropical storm watches are in effect for parts of Minnesota and the Dakotas. We're not expecting any severe weather to mix in, but this line is going to continue to move east, and that will be the source of our thunder early tomorrow morning. Some storms popping up for early Saturday. Otherwise, Saturday afternoon should be quite pleasant once the line does get through. Sunday will also be nice and sunny outside. More shower and thunderstorm chances will build in for the start of our work week. Overnight, our cloud coverage builds in. Once we get after midnight, the line really starts to push in the western edge of the state first, and then throughout the morning, notice that line kind of losing a little bit of steam. We'll still have some scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout the early morning hours before things really start to clear up in the afternoon. In the afternoon, partly sunny skies with high temperatures in the low 80s. Our breeze coming in from the northwest, so that'll help keep things a little more comfortable outside as far as a drop in our humidity and a drop in those temperatures. Sunday also seeing the sunshine come through with high temperatures staying pretty close to 80. Our severe weather chances for Saturday just really non-existent with this. We'll have a a few thunderstorms popping up, but not too concerned about severe weather with this line building in. And it's going to bring a little bit of rain, and that's still good news. We're still under that moderate drought status right now for southern Wisconsin. 83 the high for tomorrow. That comes with showers and thunderstorms in the morning, and then a clearing sky through the afternoon. That'll lead to a comfortable afternoon and again a pullback in our humidity. We'll have sun for the afternoon on Saturday, mostly sunny skies on Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday heats back up a little bit in front of our next system. We see high temperatures back in the mid to upper 80s with the chance for showers and thunderstorms building in for the start of the work week. By the end of the work week, a little drier trend. We'll see a lot of sunshine and high temperatures and the upper 70s, which is really where we should be for this time of year. As far as traffic is concerned right now, uh, this icon popping up on my screen, that has been cleared, but we're still seeing some delays along the Beltline. The interstate for Rock County and into Dane County, north and southbound, uh, not looking too bad for us this evening from the Beltline to Janesville 25 minutes Middleton to Sauk City about 16 and downtown to Sun Prairie a 17 minute drive for us this evening that's a quick look at traffic all right Dana thank you NBA champion and superstar Giannis Antetokounmpo is continuing to build his legacy in Milwaukee but this time it's not with the Bucks we'll explain coming up at five News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. At Gruber Law Offices, we've represented tens of thousands of people. To have the ability and the privilege to make a difference in somebody's life is, is a pretty cool thing. Gruber Law Offices. One call. That's all. Save on the best name brand mattresses with the A1 Instant Rebate with a huge selection in stock now. Your choice, 14-inch firm or plush queen mattress, just $4.99. Madison's locally owned family furniture store. Save online or in-store with the A1 Instant Rebate. Don't you wish you could wave a magic wand and have whiter teeth? Well, you can, but it's not magic. It's power swaps. Just swab your teeth for five minutes and boom, whiter teeth and a better smile. And since you're not dealing with messy trays or awkward strips, you're less vulnerable to the harsh sensitivity they sometimes create. I've used strips. They seem to really hurt my teeth. The power swabs, it just seemed very gentle. It's so simple and easy. You just open it, you apply it to your teeth, you forget it's there. And I notice that they're white and bright again like they were before. I know there's actually a difference the first time that I use power swabs. You put on the first coat and then the activator goes on and immediately you start seeing it working. It only takes five minute applications to get a brighter, whiter smile with power swabs. You just snap, swab, and smile. Power swabs have been clinically studied to whiten natural teeth and remove stains from caps, crowns, and veneers. It's so powerful, it removes stains from coffee, tea, red wine, and even smoking. I love my coffee in the morning. I will never stop drinking coffee. 
coffee. I will not be the person drinking hot coffee with a straw. As much coffee as I drink, I can use my power swabs and eliminate the staining. When I used the power swabs, I applied it directly to my front tooth where the coffee stain was. I like being able to individually get the teeth, and most importantly, it got kind of in between the grooves. You can put it directly on the stain that you see on your teeth, and it's so precise. But as powerful as it is, it's also gentle and causes zero to minimal sensitivity. This didn't sting, it didn't burn, it didn't have an aftertaste. It was just a swab, and I just got to rub it on my teeth, and that was it. Take it from me as someone who has gone the dental route, but has also gone on the shelf route, and I've not really seen anything work as effective and as easy as power swabs. Whiten your teeth this Labor Day by ordering power swabs and receive 40% off the regular price. Shipping is free, plus you receive a free quick stick pen to use on the go after meals or a cup of coffee. Visit powerswabs.com or call the number on your screen. Save now on furniture with the A1 Instant Rebate with a huge selection of inventory available now. Your choice two-piece sofa and love seat or sectional, just $9.99. Madison's locally owned family furniture store. Save online or in store with the A1 Instant Rebate. When you've been injured, we understand life gets tough. At Gruber Law Offices, your first call is free. Your first consultation is free. Stuck at home or in the hospital? We'll come to you for free. Call Gruber Law Offices now. We don't get paid until you do. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Fresh off an NBA championship one month ago, Buck star Giannis Antetokounmpo is showing he really does love the city of Milwaukee. It's my true honor and privilege today to announce that Giannis and his family will be owners of the Milwaukee Brewers Baseball Club. The Brewers front office introduced Giannis as a new member of the team's ownership group today. And Tenenkumpo becomes the first new individual investor added to the Brewers ownership group in 17 years. I want to thank the city for embracing me and my family. And, uh, you know, we just won the championship. The Packers won the championship a couple years ago. We, we just try to win a championship right here, you know, uh, and uh, it's going to take time. We're going to have patience. We've got to be in the present, but uh, we have a great ownership uh, group. We have great players, and uh, we, we're, going, we're going to accomplish with a lot of hard work. The Brewers are currently the top team in the NL Central. They're eight and a half games ahead of the Reds. They'll take on the Nationals tonight in Milwaukee. First pitch is at 7:10. Local law enforcement was around Dunkin' Donuts today raising money for a very good cause. It's the Coffee for Champions event, which used to be called Cop on a Rooftop. Deputies at the Janesville Dunkin' Donuts this morning were looking for donations for Special Olympics Wisconsin. The event was called off last year because of the pandemic, but in 2019 it raised over $3,000 for Special Olympics. We'll get a final check of your first worn forecast when we return. We'll be right back. Don't wait. Ashley Home Store's four-day Labor Day preview deals are Friday through Monday. Skip the lines to save up to 60% off holiday doorbusters now. Plus, five years no interest financing means you can pay as little as $17 a month for a new room full of furniture you'll love. Only at Ashley Home Store. When it comes to internet and TV, Spectrum has the competition beat. Really? Can you keep up with all this? Yes. With faster download speeds and better performance, Spectrum is the number one choice for gamers. Switch now with the fastest internet starting speeds for the price, 200 megabits. That's enough speed to game, surf, stream, and more on all your devices. Get Spectrum Internet for $44.99 a month. Call 833-742-4499. Okay, but what about TV? It's not easy to find something that works for everyone. Spectrum TV with a free Spectrum TV app lets you watch live sports, local news, and more on your TV and on your devices. And unlike satellite, there's no ugly dish on your roof. Get Spectrum TV from $44.99 a month. Call 833-742-4499. Too bad I'm in a contract. Stuck in a contract? Spectrum will buy it out up to $500. Seriously? And you won't have to sign a new one. Don't wait. Switch today. Awesome. Nice. Yes! Get Spectrum Internet and TV from $44.99 a month each. Call 833-742-4499. What do you think? I love it.
At J.P. Morgan, the only definition of wealth that matters is yours. It can be a smaller house, but a bigger nest egg, a goal to work toward, or the freedom to walk away. With 200 years of experience, personalized advice, and commission-free trades on an award-winning app, we're working for you. Planning, investing, advice. J.P. Morgan Wealth Management. Since 1976, Feldco stood the test of time. It's Feldco's 45th anniversary. Time to get down. To celebrate Feldco's 45th anniversary, get 45% off windows today. That's cause for a celebration. 45% off windows won't last long. Call now. For quality windows, siding and doors, call 866 for Feldco. Don't wait. Furniture and Appliance Mart's four-day Labor Day preview appliance deals are on now. Save up to half off Labor Day appliance deals. Plus, no interest financing for 18 months on all appliances with no minimum purchase. At Furniture and Appliance Mart, inside Ashley Home Store, off the Beltline. On this Friday night, Steve Hartman takes us on the road with the remarkable woman from Maine. The CBS Evening News is just minutes away. And Dane is here with a final check of the weekend forecast. Right now, it's really nice outside. We have a great Friday evening, but there are some showers and thunderstorms building in for early Saturday. So don't be surprised if there's a quick shower passing through. It will be pretty quick, though, because by the afternoon, we're back to sunshine. Highs will be in the low 80s for Saturday. Mostly sunny skies on Sunday near 80. Then we're back to some warmer conditions, mid to upper 80s for the start of next week, with the chance for some showers and thunderstorms mixed in almost every afternoon. Behind that chance, chance though looking ahead to the end of next week we cool down a little bit upper 70s a drop in our humidity and a transition to a bit of a drier trend for the following weekend all right dana enjoy it everybody have a great weekend thanks so much for watching eric will be back on monday the C